Annihilator. You took everything from me. And now I'm returning the favor. The first Marvel movie based on the popular comic book series came out 15 years ago. During that time, they dominated movie screens with their state-of-the-art visuals and clever, thoughtful stories. But over the past few years, Marvel movies seem to have lost their luster with audiences. And the newest one that's out this weekend does nothing to signal that they're back on track. The Marvels is centered on Brie Larson's Captain Marvel character. There are problems in the galaxy and she is forced into a girl power trio when superpowers get crossed and our hero gets magically tied to a teenage Marvel fangirl suddenly endowed with powers and an old superhero astronaut friend. Somehow they can instantly change places with each other as they're fighting off a villain who wants to suck off the natural resources from planets around the galaxy in order to save her own dying home planet. The Marvel movies are almost always straight up good guy, bad guy battles, often with so much innovation that you get fully engaged in it. But for this one, I just felt like there was nothing new, certainly nothing that kept me engaged. Creativity is barely flowing in this new offering. Likewise, with whatever clever subplots and dialogue there used to be. Here, it's forced and flat, even with two new girl power characters being introduced as Captain Marvel's partners in fighting off the bad guys. And that's not even talking about the movie Whiplash that I got when not one, but two musical numbers were forced into the story, jolting the audience with misplaced attempts at humor. I never thought I'd get a prolonged kitty cat scene with a song from Andrew Lloyd Webber's Cats in the middle of a Marvel movie while the universe is trying to be saved. All of that with a heavy reliance in this movie that depends on you having a better than average working knowledge of Marvel's deep gallery of characters. You shouldn't have to study up just to understand what's going on in a movie. Mercifully, the Marvels is only an hour and 45 minutes long, but still only a Dean's List D. And you can get my weekly movie review sent right to your phones every week by texting the word Dean to 97999. Sponsored by Lyric Opera of Chicago, presenting the Daughter of the Regiment on stage, and uh, now through.